Hello, welcome to Time Machine, episode one. This is the February 2014 New Hanover GOP stock report. This will be a monthly look into what's hot and what's not in the New Hanover GOP, based on the opinions of this 27-year-old Reagan baby. But first, let's start off with the quotes of the night. Quote number one is from Dean Lambeth, the mayor of Curry Beach. He said, we don't have any sewer problems in Curry Beach because we pump it all to Carolina Beach. The next quote is from Carolyn Justice, vice chairwoman of the North Carolina Republican Party and president of the Laracate Fear Republican Women. She says, fundraising is on the upswing in the NC GOP. The Democrats are falling apart and are soon going to be killing each other and eating their own. And finally, we hear from Mr. Don Hayes, a current then current member of the New Hanover County School Board. He says, when I was growing up, the order of influence went family, church, school, friends, and then media. Now, the media is first, then friends, then family, then church, and the school doesn't even show up. So who's hot right now in the, um, in the New Hanover GOP? Well, first we have Reverend Mark Harris. He gave an incredible speech of his childhood memories of former President Ronald Reagan and how our country must abide by Reagan's three-legged stool, which consists of strong domestic policies, strong national foreign slash foreign policies, and finally, strong traditional values. I really, really like Reverend Harris, but I've already committed to Dr. Greg Brandon as my choice for the U.S. Senate primary. Darn, I really wish I could vote for two candidates for Senate. Then another good person is our uh, friend uh, John Dismukes. Um, Just when you think Mr. Dismukes couldn't possibly give a better speech, he totally dazzles the crowd and yours truly by telling a true story that happened just two days ago. You see, Mr. Dismukes was planning on attending a parks forum put on by the Cape Fear Economic Development Council. But when John got there, he saw a banner for sustainable green space and green energy. Lee. Uh, and also, another person was there was Wilmington City Councilman Kevin the Leprechaun O'Grady, as well as Democrat, Democrat candidate for New Hanover County Commissioner Rob Zappel, AKA Rob's Apple Ale and John decided not to attend the forum. Uh, However, he did hammer home the point that we need fiscally conservative people on the county commission and not big spenders like Kevin Grady who wants to spend four million dollars on a park downtown. Wow. Uh, While the city of Wilmington suffers from extremely high crime problems and of course the traffic problems are getting worse and worse day after day. And we have uh, a person who um, really hope he hasn't had much traction running for well he was on school board ran for county commissioner twice two or three times still didn't get it but hopefully maybe he can just try to shoot for state office because he definitely be a be a good bulldog in raleigh that's for sure um dr Derek hickey um i was very pleased to hear that he'll be running for county commission dr hickey cited his four-year term on the school board has adequate experience to run for a county executive position, and we here at the Conservative Pelican could not agree more. Also on the hot list is Tammy Coville. As Dr. Hickey said at the February Americans for Prosperity meeting, she is just to the right of Ted Cruz, and yours truly thinks Ted Cruz and Tammy Coville are very solid Paul and Paulette Revere's who have the drive and passion to get this country back on track and be sure and check out mrs Coville's uh, new organization best schools and c and then another good person dr chuck hayes his has 24 years experience as a doctor he cites his medical expertise as a good platform to run on for county commissioner. Dr. Kays believes in gathering information from his patients and always asking, what are your concerns? Finally, he asks, why can't politicians do the same thing and serve their community instead of serving themselves? Hmm. 
Uh, also doing good things is the University of North Carolina at Wilmington College Republicans. Um, after much fighting with the UNCW communist management, uh, UNCW College Republican leader James Northrop has gotten the green light on starting a Second Amendment group and and a Young Americans for Liberty chapter. I'm not sure when he graduates from UNCW, but he would make a wonderful chair for the Lower Cape Fear Young Republicans. Then, the last good one on the good list is Will Brazil. Mr. Brazil, he made a very classy decision to not, not seek the GOP nomination for the 7th Congressional District. Of course, you were permanently banned by the 7th Congressional District Executive Committee to attend any GOP events or meetings after after you decided to support the Democrat Mike McIntyre in the 2010 election. So, you would have had an uphill battle anyway if you would have run. Okay. Now, who's on the bad list? Who is not hot on this stock report? Well, first of all, it's David Rouser. Rouser attended only two New Hanover County GOP meetings in the 2012 election cycle, and he has now missed his second meeting in a row in 2014, despite campaign in Brunswick and Pender counties over the last two days. Not exactly making inroads here in New Hanover County, are you, Dave? After all, he lost New Hanover County in 2012 by a total of 1,800 votes, and his challenger, Ilario Pantano, only lost by 1,600 votes in New Hanover. But maybe Thursday nights are taco nights in Johnston County, where Rouser, uh, U.S. Congresswoman Renee Elmers, and Amnesty King Luis Gutierrez discuss opening the borders up because even with a 30 year low in the labor participation rate, we just have to get illegal aliens here to pick the berries. Nah. Woody White. <clears throat> Woody, you know you're my boy in the primary, right? So why do you not show up to the GOP meeting last night? Or even have representation at the meeting? Heck, at least Rouser did that. Skip Watkins says, We do have fiscally conservative county commissioners on the current county board. Sorry, Skip. I like you as a person. This is nothing personal. But nothing could be further from the truth in your statement on fiscal conservatism. I would recommend running your campaign like Dr. Hickey and Mr. Dismukes, and less like Jason Thompson. And then we have the lower K fear young Republicans. What's going on? No meeting in February? No sign of Chairman Scott Haynes at the meeting last night? I don't know. Do you know? Perhaps you may be able to help solve a mystery. A mystery. Rest in peace, Robert Stack. <clears throat> Staying level. Justin, these are people who are not necessarily hot and they're not necessarily not either. They're in the middle. <clears throat> Excuse me for a minute. Justin Lanassa. <laughs> he made the decision on Thursday to file for the GOP for the NC Senate District 9 seat. Excuse me, Mr. Lanassa, but you are a creep. And that is Mike Lee's Senate seat. But the fact that he decided to not attend the February 27th meeting of the New Hanover GOP is a great thing in my book. Also staying in the middle, Carolyn Justice. I want to take this opportunity to wish Carolyn Justice congratulations on her new role as the vice chair of the North Carolina Republican Party. I do have two questions, though. Doesn't it seem to be a lot on one's plate to be vice chair of a state political party and yet still also serve as chair of the Lower Cape Fear Republican Women? A conclusion. Let's hope she won't let the Lower Cape Fear Republican Women decline because with over 100 members, it is the number one GOP organization in New Hanover County. Sure, there are over 50,000 registered Republicans in New Hanover, but only 50 people or so regularly attend the monthly GOP meetings. Two, another point about uh, 
can care on justice. Why are audience members not going to be allowed to ask questions at the March 6th and April 15th candidate forums? Conclusion. Um, the venue is a great place to have a candidate's forum. That is the uh, Northeast Library over by Landfall, a.k.a. Landfill. <laughs> However, the library closes at 8 p.m. and will not allow any event to run over 7.45 p.m., which is also why the start time has to be fairly inconvenient 6 p.m. for those of us just getting off work at 5, 5.30 it is not a good way to attract new voters to the GOP when you limit audience participation. Perhaps a better venue could be available at Cape Fear Community College, UNCW, or even that convention center downtown that's never used. Thanks for joining me on Time Machine. For the conservative Pelican, I'm Bobby Crawford.